What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more soft sell. We're going back for another 12 inch remix. We're going to listen to the 12 inch mix of Numbers, a track from The Art of Falling Apart. And I won't repeat everything he said, uh, but I highly encourage people to go look at friend of the channel Mark's comment on the original Numbers uh, reaction I did because it brilliantly discusses a number of different angles on the lyrics of this one, speaking to sexuality, promiscuity, and ultimately a number of related issues within the gay community uh, in the 80s as Luca decides that she wants to come over here and be vocal. Well, what do you think? You want to come up here? You just want to be vocal. We'll see what she does. Uh, but again, I encourage you to read Mark's comment. It's uh, fantastic and very uh, informative. Uh, big shout out once more to Kim for providing uh, not only this, um, the three remix or 12 inch uh, mix CDs, uh, but a great other material, a great amount of other material that we've only just begun to go through, including the grid. But yeah, we're going to listen to the 12-inch mix. Um, I imagine there will be um, extensions in terms of extra sections, um, you know, perhaps a longer uh, intro, perhaps a longer outro. Um, I may very well include elements not in the original, but ultimately I expect it to be more of the the tune we already know, so let's get into it. This is the 12 inch mix of numbers, uh, and it's included on the second disc. Is that right? Let me make sure I have that right. Um, it is, yeah, the second disc of the 12 inch singles, which is 1999. <laughs>
described it as a conveyor belt. I do hear that. Like,
Crazy. It's was that a clap? Um, I, it's you know it's the normal tune with some extras, and then that whole last part was like it's sort of like the you know it's like an ultra hip jazz club, except it's like a more warped and deranged one because the sound was a bit more wicked and um, malevolent than you would I would normally mean when I say that type of atmosphere but it did totally change to like this more intimate um, which again I feel like there's so much operating on um, multiple levels double entendres in that song um, including again the rhythmic one two three fours which you know in a lot of music like fits rhythmically and you could be referring to the beats but here the body count um, suggests that, you know, there's multiple things at play. And then the way he's doing the counting, it's like he's building to the climax of the song. It's like there's so many things that are working on multiple levels there. I really do enjoy <clears throat> And ultimately, I think um, their, their cleverness, but also their, like, lack of concern for, you know, what might be palatable or their desire to really push into the dark, I think, is clear... Um, as I've gone through their first few albums and, um, well, the first couple albums and the the remix album of the first album and then now the singles collection. So I've gone through two albums and a, a bunch of other material. Nevertheless, um, yeah, it really does seem, and it actually reminds me when I, I think it was the, uh, who was it? Was it also Mark or was it Kim? Um, maybe it was Mark. Um, but one of you was talking about the way in which when this, the label put the numbers track on a single with, uh, Tainted Love, they were like, wait a minute, like, what are you doing? Like, you know, that's, that's not what we wanted for this release. Um, I found that to be very interesting and the idea that they had a very specific and frankly dark vision for what they wanted to put out and how they wanted to put out and the label you know perhaps not knowing what to do with that was just like well this was a big hit so let's like you know let's try to keep that momentum going through that hit um so yeah i did find that interesting uh in any case uh once again shout out to kim for sharing a lot of soft sell shout out to uh, mark and all others who've commented so far shout out to han solo who shared uh, soft sell and yeah bottom line looking forward to uh, more of the 1200 singles Kim please do comment what the next one will be that's been very helpful I have to say because um, <clears throat> sometimes when I'm going to go through an artist material if I'm not very clearly in my memory working through an album it's like okay so wait what's next um, and then you know I try to go back through comments but um, it is very helpful so I appreciate that um, and yeah bottom line uh, we'll try to get another grid in soon within the next few days uh, I'm trying to keep them more or less you know equal in terms of one and one so let me know what you think of this I will see you next time peace